You don't know wrath. A Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by Chiaki Sumiko on Pixiv. You can find a link to Chiaki-san's art in the description box. Paris, on her long-awaited day of liberation, Marinette Dupang Chang as Ladybug. Ladybug balled her fists, her chest ricocheting a bullet of anger between her ribs. Her bones ached as her mind twisted, her vision red as her lower lash lines quivered between her scrunched nose and furrowed eyebrows. He'd done this. He'd done this. He'd done this in full consciousness, time and time again, not bothering to think of the cost. No, he'd done this at all costs. Gabriel Grest was a monster of a man. Gabriel Grest was a monster of a man, and she held his broken son in her arms. What would you know? He answered, his twisted lips not matching the look in his eyes. You don't know my pain. You don't know my wrath. Wrath? She scoffed. Her palm tightened around the butterfly miraculous, and she pulled her collapsed partner to her chest. This man put his son in danger again again and again. This man made his son feel inadequate and that he wasn't good enough. This man broke his son's heart so badly he spent months akumatized and alone in a frozen world. The pain I've endured. The pain you've endured? Ladybug shook as she gnashed her teeth. She had no desire to calm herself, to take control of the swirling chaos inside her. No, not for this man. He deserved none of the mercy and healing her mask stood for. Nuru, she said, laying Adrian to rest beside her and standing up. Become my wings. What would a child like you understand? If it'd been you, you would do anything, no matter the cost, because it'd be fixed at the cost of time. With time, my wrath. Wrath? Ladybug scoffed, pulling out her yo-yo. You don't know wrath. She saw the glow of a mask she'd never thought she'd wear in front of her eyes but paid it no mind. What are you going to do, Ladybug? Gabriel asked, his palms open to her with outstretched arms. With your earrings and my son's ring, you could undo it. You could undo all of this. His words echoed across the chamber like an ill-timed laugh in an opera house. Her yo-yo which liberated so many butterflies before it, was now a holding cell for them. She caught it out of its twirl and split it open, letting her new power and partner flap out of it. Go, she said. Let the akumatizer become the akumatized. She saw his face pale, but why should she care? There was no need to deal mercy to this man. You can't be serious, Gabriel growled, leaning back as her butterfly flew to his ring. It seems you didn't lie, Ladybug said, turning her attention away to pick up her partner. I wouldn't be able to do this if you didn't hold rage inside of you. At her words, Gabriel Agrest turned into a product of her anger, a soldier to destroy the pain he'd caused. 
He roared, and she turned her back on him. He'd either obey her orders to destroy this sanctum or melt into insanity trying to resist. Ladybug would burn Paris for the boy in her arms if she had to, so destroying a moth was hardly a battle worth mentioning. But not Emily. She may not know the story, but she knew the only way forward for her love was to save her. Turning back at the threshold to witness the man's agony, searing it into her mind, Ladybug knew what she had to do. Bringing Adrian into the daylight, Ladybug set him down and pressed a kiss to his cheek, apologizing without words to her beloved as she slipped off his ring. It stared back at her, reflecting her papillon mask in its incognito form. Perhaps this wasn't for the better, but it was for the best. Closing her eyes, Ladybug brought her wish into fruition, despite the cost. With the power of destruction, she tore her timeline, and everyone else's, from existence, and with her powers of creation, created one anew. Even so, something was off. Despite the powers and her wish, she had to find a balance for any of this to work, and she knew what the catalyst was. Taking a breath, Ladybug blew her wrath into the peacock miraculous, shifting the balance of their world into an equilibrium. With a jolt, Marinette Dupang Chang woke to her mother calling, taking a moment to filter through her grogginess before realizing it was the first day of school. The first day of school! It was the first day of school, and her alarm had run for over 15 minutes! She scampered out of bed, foregoing earrings from the lack of time, and rushing downstairs to grab breakfast, only to make a mess of the kitchen island. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Grabbing some pastries from her father and her backpack from her mother, Marinette rushed out and waited to cross the street. Seeing an old man crossing slowly, she felt the need to help him on such a busy day, dropping her macaroons in the process. Great. She took a deep breath and went to school, dreading her new class but making the resolution that none of them, not even Chloe Bourgeois herself, would make her spiteful today. No, sir. No matter what, Marinette would keep herself free from rage and wrath no matter how her life developed. Marinette Dupang Chang promised herself, no matter what may come in the future, She'd never be blinded by anger and use something as poisonous as wrath as judgment. No. Never. Marinette couldn't ever see herself turning to wrath to address a problem. Then again, Marinette Dupang Chang never saw herself becoming a superhero either. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this, make sure you check out other videos on this channel for more Miraculous Ladybug content and fanfiction. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. As long as we're at it, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section, and if you aren't sure what to comment, put Ladybug's Wrath. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!